Hi guys, uh, it's Justin here. Hope all is well and you're staying safe and strong during this circuit break period. And um, if you're anything like me currently, I'm dying to get back out into the golf course. So, um, nevertheless, I'll just give you a couple of um, a couple of tips really, just to to help you. Um, just on swing plane, swing direction, and what you will need. You will need um, a child's hula hoop. I know some of you that's a little bit easier than others, and um, those that have got smaller children. You can see I've just got a relatively small hula hoop here. I have attached um, two chopsticks, okay, just sellotape them, and um, a child's shuttlecock. That just gives you, the viewers, a little bit more of an indication of where the direction of the golf club would be traveling in the golf swing. Okay. So I have also, place um, a broom on the ground and that is our intentional target line okay I'll run through now what I'm going to do we're going to actually set foot into the middle of the hula hoop okay and adopt this is going to be a little bit harder because the grip is very very small okay so just try and get used to that feel okay so you can already see that the the wrists are in a preset position. So if you can imagine the golf club, the shaft of the golf club would be roughly about 90 degrees to the ground, okay? And that would look like this from, from side on, okay? So we're, what we're roughly trying to do is we're trying to get this, the angle of the hula hoop, roughly about 45 degrees, okay? Not exactly, but roughly for an average person, about 45 degrees, okay? We don't want to be too steep this way and then too, too flat this way, okay? I'm going to adopt into my posture position, okay? And again, that looks like this from here. And again, try and get the hula hoop roughly in a, a 45 degree angle. We don't want to be open with the shoulders, neither closed with the shoulders, okay, and what we're going to do from there is we're just going to make some back swings very, very slowly, and you can see what the hula hoop's doing, the hula hoop is staying in that, that plane, that roughly that 45 degree plane, we're not coming up out of plane, okay, and that would be shallow, and you can see the hula hoop is almost parallel to the ground, right? here, back, and down, and hopefully you guys can see this, but you see where the, that's the reason why I placed this shuttlecock on the end, the direction of that shuttlecock is kind of working down the broom line, which is our target line, okay? What we tend to see a lot of players do is, you can get into a relatively good position here, but then in the downswing they either extend early with the hips. Now you can see where that shuttlecock is going now. Okay, it's going very much to the right, which would be an in to out swing. Okay, so you're gonna get two shots from that. You're either gonna get a straight push to the right, or if you manage to close the club face up, you're gonna get the big snap hop, okay? And vice versa, if you get up to the top, and then, it's a very, very big common tendency. And come over the top. You can see now how the, how the hula hoop steepens, but also the direction in which that shuttlecock, remember the shuttlecock is an indication of the club face and the swing direction, is traveling from an out to in position, which would be sending the ball to the left, and then the ball would finish to the right basically a very very common slice which would be which would be losing a lot of distance but also what this little drill is very good for and it is better if we get a slightly larger hula hoop but this this is adequate again into a preset position okay. at 45 degree angle but also what this is very good for is helping you maintain your lag on the way down. 
see that's that would just be prior to impact but I've still got that that lag position here or that compression in my wrist I haven't extended early because if we do that then you feel the hula hoop is touching your left side so we'll go through that again got the same grip make sure the front's fine okay preset position up to the top full back swing yeah and again that would just be slightly free impact position okay Well, hopefully, guys, um, you can take some that to that to some good use, um, and hopefully, see you all very soon back at SICC. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay strong. Bye.